Presiding over the ETSU skyline since the late 1970s, Memorial Center officially became the Mountain States Health Alliance Center in 2010. A unique cavernous dome that's become a staple of success and history in men's and women's basketball. There's been a lot of great teams that have come through the dome, a lot of great players, Mr. Jennings and Calvin Talford and Greg Dennis and on and on and on and on. And and then over the last eight, nine, ten years, we've had some really good teams and some really good players as well. Guys like Zach Hewadu and Gerald Fields and Timmy Smith and the list goes on and on. So uh, it's an exciting place to play. Uh, great fan support. We think we've got some of the best fans really in the country. When you look at mid-major basketball, we generate about as much excitement, about as much fan support as anyone. So, uh, again, it's a great place to play. When you can bring a recruit in and show him a practice facility that's enclosed, that's private, that you're just gonna, uh, that there's gonna be nobody else in there other than men's and women's basketball, it's big for recruiting. It's also big in terms of our, you know, really our daily practice. It'll give our guys a place to go that's private and we'll probably practice there a lot as opposed to practicing out on the main floor at, at certain times of the year. When I first came here and I walked into the dome, uh, you know, I knew that it was going to be a difficult place to play. And that was when I was at UTC many, many years ago. Uh, but now as a coach and being in here, it does have it, its advantages uh, for us because, hey, we practice there every day. So when opponents come in, you know, it is kind of overwhelming to them. When we bring in, uh, you know, we were fortunate enough to get LSU. It, it is, it's a big advantage. And when we can put a team on the floor that is very competitive, to a SEC uh, team. It gets the fans around here really, really excited and you know, that's our goal.